In this video tutorial, you will get an overview of the ABAP Desk Cockpit tool and learn its basic tasks like scheduling ATC run series, getting detailed information on ATC findings, using baseline to focus on new findings, and you will use ATC during transport. Start ABAP Desk Cockpit. Transaction ATC. In the ATC overview tree, choose System Role, click Edit button, and select ATC checks by object providers only. Save and go back to the main menu. Now choose object providers. From your center system, you can configure more remote systems in order to run remote analysis. Here you can see a list of connected systems. Go back to the ATC overview tree and choose schedule runs node and double click it. Click Create button, enter the run series name, and click Enter button on the pop-up. Enter as check variant that naming convention and schedule a check run over one package. Don't forget to click the Save button. Now let's have a look at the Code Inspector check variant. Look for the name of the series just created. Click on the name of the variant and then on the display button. Here you have a list of all checks available in Code Inspector. Click on the attributes. In this view, you can configure the naming conventions. As you can see, the global classes should start with ZCL. Go back to the ATC overview screen. Select your just created run configuration in the table and click Schedule button. Check the name of your series and then click the Execute button. Go back to the ATC overview screen and double click the Manage Results node. Let the run series field empty and execute. Select your result in the table and click Display button. The result table displays all ATC findings of simplifications in relation to the custom code of the package selected. Maximize the result list. You have here the entire list of the findings classified on classes, data, types, etc. Click on the object name of any finding and navigate to the source code. Let's consider now the role of a developer who develops in Eclipse and wants to check on his own the quality of his system. ATC is fully integrated in Eclipse. We we'll run it and select as check variant Z naming convention. Then click OK button. You'll receive a big list of findings. These are all findings, but you can focus only on new or recently changed code using the baseline concept. In to log on desktop application, click on Baseline, Add to Baseline 2, Suppress Findings, and click Yes. Go back into Eclipse and rerun ATC for your package. Right click on your package, go to Run As, ABAP Test Cockpit Width, and select your naming convention variant. All the old findings are excluded from the ATC list. Let's create now a new class. Type the name and the description for your class. Click Next. Assign it to a transport request or create a new one. And click Finish. Activate now the class. And run ATC for it. To right click on the class, run as, ABAP Test Cockpit Width, and select the naming convention. Click on the warning received. The details of analysis indicate invalid name for the class created. ATC runs also during a transport. In order to see this, go to Transport Organizer, into your system, drop down the local object request, and refresh the modifiable list. Select the transport request number. 
and release it. You receive an error during transport and this is due to the ATC reported issue. As you can see, you have an invalid class name. Let's modify now our class name. In Eclipse, right click on the class name, go to Rename, and instead of ZCS, type ZCL according to the setup convention. Click Next and Finish button. Activate now the class and run ATC for it. Right click on the class, run as above the cockpit. As you can see, the work list displays no findings. Go in Transport Organizer and release your transport request. The transport request was successfully released. This is the end of this video tutorial. For more information, please visit ABAP testing and analysis community and related blogs. Thank you.